This is Gapminder's web page. We are like a modern museum on the internet. Here you can have fun with statistics and explore the history of your Carbetican order. You find Tunisia. You find Tunisia. You can have a lot of fun with statistics. Welcome to Gapminder. Hi, I want to show you the number of babies per woman in Tunisia and in Qatar. I start 1956, the year of independence, and every bubble here is a country. This bubble is Tunisia. Seven children per woman, and this axis shows the income per person. Tunisia was a poor country then, $1,000 per person. Qatar already was a rich country with almost $20,000, $30,000 per person, but both countries had many children per woman. The color here shows the majority religion. Green is Islam, which is the majority. Red is Eastern religion, Hinduism and Buddhism. And blue, that's Christian majority countries. And look, almost all the rich countries here had low number of babies per woman, and they were Christian, with the exception of Japan. So many people were thinking, ah, Muslim countries have many children, Christian countries have few children. But let history pass now, and I'll show you what has happened. Look, as we go forward here, you can see that the number of babies per woman is falling in Tunisia, also falling in Qatar like this, and it hits in the last decade two children per woman in Tunisia, and the same in Qatar. It's quite interesting. Today, all countries that are richer, the same as Tunisia, or richer, they have small families. Because the families want to give the children the best life possible, to afford school, clothes, and a rich and good life for the children. And also the very rich countries have chosen this. Whereas the poor countries are the ones who have many children per woman, because children die to a tragic extent there, and there's still lack of health service and school for everyone. But the religion doesn't make much difference. Look, the Muslim majority countries are the same as the Christian majority countries. It's only the income that makes the difference. So it seems like in the bedroom we think the same when we think for the future of our children. Thank you.